the community colleges now enroll 41% of all American undergraduates. Perhaps much more significantly, and a little more surprising, 45% of all bachelor's degrees awarded in America contain credit transferred from an American community college. 45% of all bachelor's degrees involved transfer. Clearly, this is no longer an alternative. This is the major on-ramp to higher education in America for a bachelor's degree, not just for an associate's. Community colleges are not only the largest sector of undergraduate education, they're by far the largest sector serving underrepresented lower economic strata, people of color, first generation Americans, every other group that you would choose to include in the American dream. Surely a model that reduces debt and cost, that can bring remarkable diversity into higher education, and the opportunity for economic and social mobility that it ought to be able to promise should be an important part of the solution to the challenges higher education is facing. And the good news is, the students agree. Among this amazingly diverse class of new students at community colleges, more than 80% say they desire ultimately to transfer and earn a bachelor's degree. The problem is only 15% ever make it. If you care about diversity and equity in this country's future, transfer has to work. It has to work, and it's been proven that it can. And it yields not just diversity in the freshman class, a proxy goal. It diversifies the professions and gives people real economic mobility. The potential and the strategic importance of transfer has never been greater for achieving multiple shared goals. And this potential will never be realized unless higher education leaders make the deep redesign of the system across institutional lines at regional and state levels a priority.